What are 10 hidden gems to check out in San Diego in 2022? Find out next on Jaycation. Hey, what's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the San Diego series. Today, we are gonna be exploring 10 hidden gems to check out here in San Diego in 2022. I always seem to be finding new hidden gems around town. And even though we're starting off in one of the most photographed spots in all of San Diego, the Botanical Garden and this pond, I just wanted to start off here and then bring you off to a bunch of great hidden gems from Graffiti Shack in Mission Beach and climbing one of the few observation decks in all of San Diego. There are a ton of great hidden gems. And also stay tuned for this Oslo sardine bar that's only open once a week over in Seaport Village. That's also a fun place to check out. Now let's start off with the first hidden gem. Obviously, you guys got to be careful here and walk through this jetty. They're just a bunch of rocks put together. Be careful getting over to the shack. Not gonna lie to you guys, it's gonna take about 15 minutes and you better have nice shoes and be able to climb these rocks and be very careful. Pay attention. It's a while to get over here. Look at this. This is the graffiti shack within this really rocky jetty. Now, unlike the other one that's next to me, I could skate down it and it's paved. This is all rocks. So you have to have nice traction with your shoes. Be very careful, be very attentive because it's dangerous walking through these rocks. It takes about 15 minutes to get to this graffiti shack right here. Well, we have this guy with a twirling fire right now taking pictures as the sun is setting here in San Diego. It's right next to another hidden gem that I talked about, which is the Kavara Jetty. This is here on the Mission Beach side. We also got Ocean Beach down in the distance. And I'm gonna have to make my way back through the same rocks. So just be very careful, it's not of easy hidden gem to get to. Here we got somebody with some hot sauce from a Mexican joint right here with a leftover fry. And this is the uh, shack and we're about to get the sun totally set. You'll get the green flash. You never see it. I've seen it like twice. But anyways guys, check this place out. It's amazing. Just bring some nice shoes and it's gonna take 10-15 minutes to walk to. All right, Jaycationers, if you're finding value so far in this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps distribute it throughout YouTube. Check out my Hidden Gem series. I've done quite a few videos all around San Diego about what are some nice, lesser known spots to check out when you're in town here in Southern California. Also consider subscribing. I have a ton of San Diego, Las Vegas, and world content. And now let's get back to it. Hidden Gems 2022 here in San Diego. All right, guys, so now the long walk back through these rocky jetties. I've also heard rumors under these cracks and crevices, there are some cats and some skunks. So make sure you don't get skunked. So if you wanna get over to this jetty, it's at the very end past Belmont Park, the very end of Mission Beach. The parking lot is right here next to the volleyball courts. You can't miss it. The next spot on the list is here in North Park and it's a place called Verbatim Books. You're gonna have to go inside and check out all of the awesome books that they have in there and book displays. If you wanna see a pretty cool bookstore, check this out, Verbatim Books, nice hidden gem here in North Park. If you wanna check out Verbatim Books, you might wanna even come here on a Thursday like I am here today because the farmer's market in North Park is going on right next to it here off of North Park Way. So you can kill two birds with one stone, check out the awesome farmer's market, and then head into the bookstore. It's open from 11 to six, and it's closed on Tuesdays. What's really cool in there is the decorations, the bookshelves. I like that they have that sticker machine, the old school sticker machine. All right, let's head over to Balboa Park for the next hidden gem. For your next hidden gem in 2022 here in San Diego, it's Palm Canyon Trail here in Balboa Park. It's right next to the Archery Range and the Alcazar Gardens. And I haven't actually gone down the steps yet and walked down the trail. And I always pass by it and I never think twice to go and check it out. I would definitely suggest going here during the day when there's plenty of people so you feel safe. Don't go there at night and by yourself. You never know what's out there. So go here during the day when it's safe. Look at this giant tree roots right here. And there's the staircase to the trail. This is definitely a vacation first. Even though I've been around it, I've never been through it. Walking through, I see a lot of tree stumps, a bunch of palm trees above me. There looks like a few ways you can get in and out of here. I see a ramp over here to the side, but that staircase is the official entrance. Let's keep walking down. All right, so I'm not gonna walk the whole trail, but yes, definitely check this out when you're here at Balboa Park. It's right next to the archery range, Palm Canyon Trail. Now let's head over to Seaport Village for the next hidden gem. It's called the Oslo Sardine Bar. 
which is only open on Thursdays from 6 to 9 p.m. Now this place is a hidden gem because it's only open on Thursdays. It is directly right outside of the Manchester Grand Hyatt Hotel and they serve some pretty good sardine cans and stuff. So let's go inside and try it out. Yo, Jaycationers, do you remember my friend Michaela? From DC. DC, that was like early Jaycation, like yeah. 2016. 16. So if you've been watching for like five, six years, watch our uh, videos in DC. She, she still lives in DC. My San Diego homie. You already know, South, out here. Southeast San Diego represent. <laughs> <laughs> Not Southside. Southeast. He told me what he did. I did. I got him, y'all. I did y'all wrong. I got yeah. it. Southeast. Moore's high in the house right here. Yeah. I should have got that on tape. You want to do it again? Go back. Yeah. Out. You do that again? All right. Here we go. All right. Ready to go. Ahoy! Ahoy, mateys. All right, guys. So we're uh, trying out these sardines. This is a number thirty-one. <laughs> Been two weeks from shore and down on her all right well for all hands to the side harpooned and swore then she died below soon may the women come all right guys we all know i ain't a sardine person but here we go <laughs> Good, good. I like it. You ain't gonna try it. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Well, oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her. For the voyage is long and the winds won't blow, and it's time for us to leave her. Next spot is here off of the Scripps Pier, and it's a coastal trail where they have beautiful benches where you can overlook the sunset, La Jolla Cove, and the Pacific Ocean. It's one of the more peaceful spots here in the UCSD campus. It's near the geophysics building. Over by the trail, there's just a nice bench you can sit down and overlook the sunset. It's, it's amazing over here. So there is minimal parking here at the Coastal Access Trail, but it's only for an hour. Parking right here is perfect if you could find one of the four spots. It's a great day. It is February 8th, 2022, and it's 83 degrees outside at four in the afternoon. That's San Diego weather for you guys. Unbelievable. Let's move on to the next spot on this Hidden Gems 2022 list in San Diego. The next hidden gem on the list here runs till the end of April at the Wyland Center at the Del Mar Fairgrounds. It is the Beyond Van Gogh experience. Tickets range from about $23.99 for kids, $36.99 for adults. They have military and student discount and other VIP tickets. You're gonna wanna get your tickets online because they're time tickets for certain days and certain dates. And we're gonna go inside. Parking is 10 bucks, just so you know. Pretty much couldn't talk in there, but let me give you a little review of the Beyond Van Gogh immersive experience. From the get-go, right when you get inside, they have a chance for you to take a little picture off with a frame of Van Gogh, uh, the starry night photo. They, ha they have a really cool picture display over there, so get ready to take pictures right away when you enter. Then you go through this hallway, and after this hallway, get ready for a ton of reading. You're gonna learn a lot about Van Gogh's works, his history, where he came from, and a lot of great quotes. So if you're into a bunch of inspirational quotes, read through everything there. And it's really cool because they have different languages. They have English, Spanish. When you finish that, you get into another room. It's a darker room and it's an immersive experience where there's just tons of different lights flashing and artwork of Van Gogh showing up. And in that room, you don't really think that you're, you'd spend a lot of time there, but you should because it's a really cool room. And then the next room is the big room. You're gonna wanna spend 20, 30 minutes, whatever the full cycle of getting to see everything is, and just sit down and enjoy the immersive experience and the artwork. And after the experience, you can go to the store and they have a ton of clothes and souvenirs that you can check out that are Van Gogh related. Make sure you just go on the website and check it out down below. I'll have it linked. Next place on Hidden Gems 2022 is Paradise Point. 
This is a beautiful resort in the middle of Mission Bay. I had my high school prom here. My best friend Jason got engaged to my BFF Din here and we helped set that all up. There's just a lot of great things you can check out here like the Barefoot Bar and Grill. Amazing sunset happy hour over here. And there's an area with a bunch of gazebos, uh, ponds and koi fish that you can walk around during the day or at night. And it really gives you a tropical vibe here in San Diego. So this is the area that I'm talking about where you can walk through all these beautiful ponds. You'll see the ducks roaming around. There's some koi fish. They even have a tower you could climb up and get beautiful views of Mission Bay in San Diego during the day. This time of night, it's definitely not worth checking out. But they also have a really beautiful lit up gazebo that's very romantic. You could come out here with your significant other, do a little slow dancing and just hang out and enjoy the cool ocean breeze because Mission Bay is right here and the Pacific Ocean is just down the block. So it says the observation tower is open from 7 a.m. to sunset. Just be careful when climbing. Let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to see me do an actual hotel review on Paradise Point. I actually uh, think it would be nice to stay here for a night or two and show you the grounds and all the activities and restaurants and do a couple food reviews. Maybe an idea for a future vacation video coming into the summer. The next hidden gem here in San Diego is Toby's Cafe, which, which is over at the Balboa Municipal Golf Course. It overlooks this beautiful golf course, gives you views of the San Diego skyline. You can see Point Loma, Cabrillo National Monument all the way from here, and a bunch of other buildings around Balboa area. We're here at Toby's. You want to grab a seat out in the patio, watch some people playing some golf down the way, and just enjoy the beautiful San Diego skyline views. And they do have some pretty decent food over here get burgers. I heard their country fried chicken is pretty good over here with the gravy on top so you might want to try that out when you're here visiting Toby's Cafe. If you guys are just discovering Jaycation for the first time I actually have a whole series of hidden gems videos all around San Diego and I put it down in this playlist linked up here and down below so make sure you go check that out. The next hidden gem is here in Encinitas. This is the self-realization garden. It was closed during most of the pandemic and it is now reopened. It is free to come in here. They're open till 5 p.m. They have beautiful koi ponds, amazing gardens, awesome views of the Pacific Ocean. Really nice and serene over here. You can park outside on the street and then walk in totally free. They ask for donations as well to keep it nice and cleanly over here. It's a beautiful, serene and peaceful hidden gem here in Encinitas. You get some really beautiful views of some of the surfers down there at Swami's getting their surfing in and yeah, it's nice and peaceful over here. They have some giant koi fish around here and you guys know I'm terrified of koi fish. This actually really reminds me of the Miyagi-Do in Cobra Kai. Very nice and peaceful bonsai meditating and all that stuff. So the entrance to the garden is on K Street. You're gonna want to find side street parking over here. It was pretty easy on the weekday and it was nice and peaceful over there. For the final hidden gem we're gonna go to one of the most photographed landmarks in all of San Diego and that's the California Tower. Now you'll see this in all the postcards, brochures, and tourism bureau pamphlets and ads. But did you know that you can actually climb the California Tower? That's right, for $10 and four times a day, they have guided tours up the California Tower where you get a 360 view of all of San Diego and they give you a lot of great history at each level you go up. Now this is where you hear the bells when you're around Balboa Park and they also show you all the instruments and stereos and speakers that they use. It's a really cool experience. It lasts about 40 minutes. Now you have to buy a ticket first to get into the Museum of Us and then pay an extra $10 to go to the California Tower. You have to do that online, reserve the exact time, because they only do six people per tour, and it's only four times a day. Right there, it's ringing right now. Now, you don't get to the very top, but you get there high enough, and on that level where you're able to take your mask off and take pictures, you can see San Diego Bay, you can see the zoo, the rest of Balboa Park, all the way down to Mexico. It's an amazing scene. I definitely recommend that. We don't have very many observation decks here in San Diego. It's basically the California Tower and the Manchester Grand Hyatt top of the Hyatt bar, but that's enclosed. So this is the only outdoor one you can go check out. And it's a hidden gem because everybody sees it from the outside, but never thought about going up it on the inside because they only started doing these tours about six seven years ago and it's not really as publicized go check it out on their website i'll link it down below so the child you see right here in that wood box 
Those are all the ones that play at the 15 minute intervals, and all the ones behind the lockers here are the ones that play for our 12 o'clock songs. And they can reach a wide variety of songs like the Bohemian Rhapsody, to the whole world from Aladdin. We're up here at the California Tower. Really awesome guided tour. Talks a little bit about the history of San Diego. Looking at the beautiful dome right here with the zoo and the skyway with downtown San Diego, San Diego Bay. Right down there is the old Globe Theater. Shout out to my cousin Kim. You get all four corners of this tower. Plaza de Panama right here and the rest of Balboa Park. There's the Botanical Gardens and then the zoo, like I said, down the way. And there's my go-to parking lot right here, right next to the archery range, and that's the Alcazar Gardens. So I'm adding this to the list of must things to do in San Diego because this tour is awesome. You get a lot of history and just the 360 views you get up in this tower, which I never knew you could climb. I bet a lot of you didn't know that you could climb this and take a tour. And right there is Palm Canyon with all the palm trees which is one of the hidden gems in this video. So like I said, guys, it's $10 plus your admission fee to the Museum of Us, or if you have a Balboa Explorer Pass, you can come in here and check out this beautiful view. Now they offer about four or five tours a day. You're gonna wanna go on the website. I'll link that down below. All right, JK Shinner, so that will do it for your 10 hidden gems to check out in San Diego in 2022. I had an amazing time. I really enjoyed that California tower and getting to see the Oslo Sardine Bar, which you can find open on Thursdays from six to nine. I love discovering all these new hidden gems, just like that graffiti shack and that golf course cafe that we went to, all beautiful views. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. It really helps distribute it throughout YouTube. Please consider subscribing to Jcation as I have a ton of San Diego, Las Vegas, and world content, food and travel to come. If you have any suggestions on videos you'd like to see in the future, please comment down below. And if you wanna join It's Always Sunny in San Diego, which is my Facebook group, it's full of 3,500 avid San Diego lovers that talk about tips, recommendations, and news around San Diego. So if you have an upcoming trip, join it, answer the questions, and you have a whole community that will give you a bunch of great ideas about your trip here to San Diego. Now, if you like this Hidden Gems video, please let me know what your favorite hidden gem was and when you're gonna come here and visit it, I'd like to know. And if you wanna support Jcation even more in 2022, please consider checking out my Patreon, PayPal, or Teespring. I have plenty of Jcation merchandise on my Teespring account. All right, Jcationers, we'll see y'all in the next video. And in the words of Jcation, stay traveling, San Diego. Have you checked out my Hidden Gems playlist yet? Down below, check it out right here. And if you wanna see my most popular Hidden Gems video, it's right over this way as well. See you guys there.